vertical mini gel electrophoresis in the DCX700 dual cool using clear page precast gels. You will need the following. A stir bar and stirring platform, a power supply, a DCX700 unit, optional freezer blocks, clear page gels, clear page running buffer, and clear page sample buffer, ultra pure water for buffer dilution, and a squeeze bottle for gel washing, graduated cylinder for bu buffer preparation, pipetter, prepared samples, and for staining you also need instant blue stain, a stain container, and a gel rocker, and always wear protective gloves. Step 1. Prepare DCX700 unit. Before running first gel in the DCX700 dual cool unit, please read the instruction manual for important safety and general use instructions. To open the dual cool, push thumbs down on white clear post while pulling lid up with fingers under lid. Do not pull on leads. Remove safety cover and place core on bench top. Place unit on stirring platform and place stir bar into base of unit. Step two, buffer preparation. Clear page running buffers must be used to run clear page gels. To make one liter of 1x running buffer, dilute 50 mils of the 20x running buffer with 950 mils of ultra pure water. Step three, sample preparation. Prepare samples using clear page sample buffers according to instructions provided with clear page gels. Gel preparation. Just before use, remove the gel cassette from its plastic storage bag and shake off upside down. The comb has been removed from these gels prior to shipping and there is also no tape to remove. Rinse entire gel cassette using ultra pure water with a wash or squeeze bottle. Rinse wells two times using ultra pure water with a wash bottle. Shake to remove water from wells after each wash. Loading samples onto the gel. Open doors on core assembly by pulling up on white latches. Slide precast gel cassette into core assembly so that the notch plate faces towards the core upper reservoir. Repeat on the other side and close latches. When running only one gel, use white plastic adapter plate to seal the side without a gel. Close core doors and press down on white latches. Fill upper core reservoir with approximately 200 mils of buffer. Acrylamide gel well fingers extend above cassette for ease in loading and the wells are numbered. Using a thin pipette tip, underlay the samples near the bottom of the well. Maximum sample capacity is 35 microliters for 12 well gels and 17 for 17 well gels. Running the gel. Place core assembly into lower reservoir. The anode and cathode electrodes are color-coded on both the core cassette assembly and the lower reservoir. Best results are achieved by adding enough buffer to cover most of the gel cassette. If using freezer blocks, add around 560 mils of buffer. If not using blocks, add up to 800.
place cover on electrophoresis unit and attach power leads to power supply. Turn on stirring platform. For SDS gels, the recommended run voltage is 180 VVC with a starting current of 90 milliamps per gel. At this voltage, typical run times are 45 to 60 minutes. Step 7. Removing the gel. Turn the power supply off and disconnect the leads from the power supply. Remove safety cover from unit. Leaving core in place, pull up on gel door latches and open door. Remove gel cassette. Step 8. Staining the gel using instant blue stain. Open gel cassette using wedge plate separator. Place gel in small container. Gently invert instant blue stain bottle a few times to mix. Use about 25 mils of stain per clear page gel. Put on rocker and stain for 10 to 30 minutes. No de-staining is necessary. After staining has finished, remove gel and rinse with water.